Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Tony here with us this morning, and Tony works at the refineries here down on the coast. And uh, he's been having some pain, chronic pain, which is a duration of over three months. You said, what, three, 15 years? Yes, sir. Okay. And then he gets a lot of mid-back pain in here, which he gets when he's standing up all day at work. Uh, he gets right SI joint pain and pain down in his legs and his knees. He's got right elbow pain, numbness and tingling down into his feet, burning down into his feet. Gets headaches every once in a while and has a very difficult time sleeping. Did I miss anything? No, sir. Okay. So I'm going to check his posture first. I've already done his orthopedic neurological evaluation. You've seen me do those before, so you already know what that's about. Let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me now, Tony. See, he's restricted in his range of motion, and his head's forward and to the right. And then down here on his pelvis, he's got a little less rim over here than he does over here, so... His pelvis has translated to the right. He's got less room here, actually, than he has over here. Okay, so let's lay you on your tummy then, Tony. And now, I've already, like I said, I've already done his orthopedic neurological test, but I'm going to show you a couple of the highlights. See, his right leg is shorter, and I look right where the sole meets the heel. That's why I leave the shoes on, everybody. Right leg is shorter by half an inch. Now, I bring him up, it actually gets longer by a half an inch, so that's called a positive gear field test, and it tightens up down in his low back there, and that's a positive knockless test, and you can see his pelvis raised up when I did that. So he's got a right sacroiliac subluxation right here. L4, L5 is out right at the base of his spine, and he's got spasm on the right side. He's got hypertonicity of the muscles in the lower thoracic spine. He's got T5, 6, and 7 misaligned here in the middle of his back and thoracic spine. Now, he's had cervical spine fusion surgery and also has instrumentation in his C5, C6 area of the figure 8 plate. They look kind of like a dog bone. So I'm going to give him his first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He's seen a couple of other chiropractors in the past. And you know we love to see people who've already seen other chiropractors. That way they know the difference in what we do. There we go. Just keep breathing and relaxing. You get the easy job, Tony. There. Okay, just keep breathing and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, just keep breathing. Don't don't buck on me. There. Okay. I'm gonna get that mid back to move. Okay, now his legs are exactly even. Tell me how this feels compared to the first time up, Tony. That's a little bit Is better. that a little easier? Did it tighten up in your little back when I brought those up? Not as much, no. Sir. Okay. So I'm going to adjust his cervical spine now from the Z axis. Straight T to A. Now the C5, C6 fusion, that'll move as a unit. There we go. Good. And it's safe to adjust people that have those. This, you had that, what, in 2009, you said? Six. Okay, let's turn on your back now. So that's, you know, fully fused and solid. So that moves as one unit. There, now slide down this way a little bit. And put your arm straight out to the sides. There you go. Straight out to the palms up. There we go. Good. 
just okay, yeah, just relax your arms on your tummy there. You put your hands on your tummy and relax. Just relax and breathe on this one. Let your leg go limp. Now you should have felt that in your knee all the way up into your pelvis. Did you? Yeah. Okay, let this one just relax completely too. There you go. Good job. Feel that one all the way up there too? Yes, sir. Okay, let's hit you up and face this way, actually. There you go. <laughs> Now one of the things I notice when I'm watching you, you have a tendency to let your head fall forward a lot. So you want to start trying to keep your chin up and back like that. Feel the difference in the posture? When your head's forward, even in the slightest, it makes all these muscles work out over time. That's why they're so tight all the way down. So I'm going to check your elbows here now. Just let it go limp. Broken elbows or wrists or shoulders or neck or back. Don't have any heads on my trophy wall yet. There we go. That moved good today. There you go. I know how to break them, but I don't. Some martial arts made me a better chiropractor. Good. Okay. Now for the big one. Okay. It's the one you've been looking forward to, I know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and lay you on your back right here with your head up this way. You got any last words you want to say to your buddies down there? <laughs> <laughs> he said no, guys. <laughs> He's going to come out of this feeling better when he walked in. I know that feels really tight. Just keep breathing through your nose lightly. Let your legs relax and bend. There you go. There it is. Okay. You're not going to get away now, are you? There you go. Now, I want you just to breathe through your nose. Mm -hmm. There you go. That wasn't so bad, was it? You feel that all the way down? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. You feel that a lot in your neck as well? Oh, yeah, a lot. See, you're still kicking your time. <laughs> Let your head relax right here in my hands. Put your hands right here. Okay, let me have it. Don't tighten up on me. Tilt right. There you go. Now just let it go and tilt left. That's it. Perfect. Yes, sir. So you still got your head on, too. Did you feel that a lot when I pulled you right through your mid-back? I, I felt back? it almost probably three-quarters of the way down. Okay, down here. Okay, let's Pretty come up here and stand in front of the mirror. Kind of get up sideways when you get up. Let's stand right here in front of me, in front of the mirror. Now I'm going to have you bend your head forward and backwards again for me, please. That's a better range of motion. Yeah, let's take a look in the mirror right now. See your head's up and back more than it was when you walked in. You see the difference? So here's your homework right here. You're gonna lift both shoulders straight up like this. Pull them back simultaneously. Where these hands backwards, palms forward. See how it tightens up your whole trapezius there? All right. Okay, now bring your hips straight back like this on the Z-axis. Okay, you're to the right, remember, so we're going to do exactly the opposite of that and go to the left. Now, I want you to look back at the wall behind you. You're going to feel a little tap on your neck right there. Another one there. Okay, now relax. And let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. This should feel smoother than the previous ones. It's a lot smoother. Yep, great. Take a look in the mirror right now. So your shoulders are squared off now, they're not rounding forward so much. Your hands are marked your sides. You got equal spacing now on both sides. So, how would you describe your first experience here, Tony, to, to your buddies? That was good. For the left eye gang. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For the left eye gang. Oh, that's a good one. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.